So k and now offers a line of oil catch cans. In this brief video, I'll provide an overview of the product and an unboxing. I'm not going to go over the merits of oil catch cans in this video, and I'm not going to talk about whether or not you should buy one. I'm going to guess that if you've landed on this video, you've probably decided that you want one. My simple conclusion was that it's not going to hurt anything, and there are plenty of videos out there with guys clearly showing these things do indeed capture oil, so that was good enough for me. I'm right at 100,000 miles on my 2016 Silverado, so I figured I'd do what I can to prolong the life of this engine. I'm pretty sure k and just launched this product line recently. I know for this specific application of Silverado, Sierra, Yukon, Tahoe, and Suburban with the 5.3 liter or the 6.2 liter engines, this product just launched a few weeks ago around the last week of November 2023. Uh, they also have one for the Ford F-150 that launched a few months prior to this one, I think. I had just decided a few weeks ago that I wanted an oil catch can and happened to land on this product while shopping online. Previously, I know the JNL was the popular and obvious choice for a high quality product for this application. The JNL comes in at about $160. I picked up this K&N on Amazon for $135, so $25 less and it's six ounces, whereas the JNL is half that at three ounces. Every oil catch can I've seen is around three to four ounces, and this is the only one I've seen with a six ounce capacity, which obviously means you won't need to empty it as often. Like the JNL, you get metal fittings, high quality hoses, and OEM style quick connectors. So the k and seems to be the same quality, if not superior to the JNL. I've trusted k and in the past with their air filters and cold air intakes, so I'm glad they offer this product now too. Other cheaper inferior catch cans out there use plastic or nylon fittings, which will likely fail over time, I would suspect. This one has anodized metal fittings, so that was a major factor for me. This k and is also a true air oil separator in that it has an internal baffle that separates oil vapor from the air before allowing it to recirculate. So unboxing, it's gonna come in a box like this. It says k and Premium Air Oil Separator. Inside the box, you've got your two hoses. First, uh, again, with the OEM style quick connectors on the end, these hoses feel nice and thin. Thick. You've got instructions uh, with photos included. So that should make installation pretty easy. It's got the list of applications here as well. The model number for this specific one is 81-0805. You've got your two black anodized metal fittings. You've got some Teflon tape for the threads on those fittings. A little bag of hardware for the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket itself, this is gonna hold the can here and these two screws are going to go in the cap at the back of the engine bay. And lastly, obviously the can itself. This thing just feels nice and heavy and well built. Uh, you've got the k and logo on the top. And if you look in one side of the threads here, you can actually see the filter itself. I don't know if the camera is gonna catch that. Hopefully it does. Um, but if you really wanted to see what's in there, you can actually take this thing apart. It's got three small Torx screws. Uh, so if you really wanted to see what's going on in there, you could take it apart. I'm not gonna do that, but this is what it looks like separated. Again, six ounce capacity here. I'd like to think I could go maybe as long as uh, changing this, as emptying this thing every oil change. Uh, hopefully not sooner than that, but we'll see. Even the threads themselves on this thing just feel very smooth. Uh, you've got an O-ring there to um, make sure it's fully sealed. Uh, yeah, this thing just feels nice, heavy, well-built. Feels good, feels like a high quality product. I'll do another separate video of the installation of this thing and then another one with an update after about a thousand miles where I empty it and see what it captured. So be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll include a link to the product in the description. What do you think of oil catch cans? Do you have one? Have you run across this product yet or are you planning on buying one? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.